Hey everyone, it's me. I'm broadcasting live from Dremoyne and it's such a beautiful day today. I thought I would do my live session on a walk. It's been raining. Last, last week it was raining, so I'm outside. I've actually been inside all morning, so I actually do just want to have the sun in my face. I'm sorry for wearing sunglasses. I don't normally um, wear sunglasses when I'm talking to the camera, but it's so bright outside. Um, so hello, how are you? Um, uh, I'm sorry I didn't check in last week. I thought um, the video with Stan was enough for, for one day, so um, I thought I'd skip the live chat and wait till today, which I'm glad that I did because I was really super busy again last Friday. But I'm here now and I just wanted to say hi. I hope you guys are having a good week. Um, I've just had a very interesting morning um, and I've actually had a very interesting last 24 hours. So I thought I would just touch base with you guys to let you know what, what's been going on. Um, hey, Yanya, how are you? Um, so yeah, I just interviewed um, Roger Lawrence, who is the Chief Technology Officer at Hewlett Packard, and uh, he agreed to my interesting interviews series a few weeks ago, and um, so today I had the opportunity to talk to him, which was really cool. But what's really fortunate about this chat was um, when I was planning the uh, interview a few days ago, I was stalking Roger, which is what I do normally when I meet people or I'm going to go interview them. I like to know what their background is. So I was doing a little bit of research on Roger and um, I found out that he recently survived a heart attack. And um, he wrote this blog about him having a heart attack just about five weeks ago, six weeks ago. It was just very recent. Um, so I'm reading this blog, this very intimate detail of what he went through. Um, and after I read the blog, I thought, crikey, I can't talk about technology after I've read this success story. So um, I asked if we can talk about his success story first and um, talk about how to survive a heart attack, um, <laughs> which we did. We had like this full on long conversation about what happened that day and how he's feeling now and kind of the things that he's been thinking about since the heart attack. Um, yeah, it just makes you think how sort of fragile and um, precious life is. Um, yeah, and he gave, he gave us 40 something year olds, um, cause he's only 49. He's not, he's not old at all. He's very young actually, not far off of my age and my friends that are probably watching this. Um, so he's, he's given us some tips on what to do if we ever find ourselves in that stressful situation. Um, so I'm going to be editing that soon. And hi, Charlene, how are you? Hi, Leah. Hi, Gabrielle. Nice to see you ladies. Um, so yeah, I'm going to interview that and that should be coming soon. But something else happened last night, which I'm still getting my head around and really appreciating this opportunity. Um, so I was on LinkedIn yesterday and I had somebody on my feed um, request for some help. Um, her name is Stacy and she um, needed some help at a speaking event that she was going to speak at uh, yesterday night. And I had, I had plans. I did have plans. I actually um, had to cancel something, but um, I felt like she needed the help and I wanted to help and it sounded really interesting. So I said yes. And I didn't really know who Stacy was, and of course I stalked her. <laughs> and as, as I'm stalking Stacy, I find that she's got this incredible story. Um, it turns out that Stacy is a paraplegic, and she actually broke her neck when she was 12. She was in the swimming pool, and she broke her neck. And she's got this amazing story of resilience, like how to live life being resilient and um, just kind of the struggles that she's had to go through in her life. And um, I, I just, first of all, I didn't, I didn't know at the time that I was gonna be able to experience this, this, um, this speech. Um, oh, and it was given to a, 
a group of girls in year 10. So it was a daughter parents function with really beautiful food, beautiful, beautiful night. But yeah, I had this opportunity to help Stacy. Um, and she was signing books at the end and I was taking the money and I was just doing a little bit of, she needed somebody to take photos and video for her social media. <laughs> and I thought, oh, you couldn't have asked a better person, you know? Um, so, um, gosh, I, I love my neighborhood. I'm just going to pause right there and show you. I just dropped my mic. There's my neighborhood right here. I'm just walking along. Beautiful trees. It's so pretty here in Sydney. Um... But anyway, so that happened. I'm just trying to do myself up. Sorry, folks. A little bit of technical difficulty there. <laughs> um, who? Hi. Who? Hi. Hi, Charlene. <laughs> who? Who? So this was Stacy Copas. Her name's Stacy. She's actually training now to um, for the Paralympics in 2020 in Japan. I think it was Japan. So yeah, she's just got this really incredible, look her up on LinkedIn, um, or actually we've just connected on Facebook. I, I, I really, I totally enjoyed helping her and I said, look, if you ever need anybody else, or, and you know, if you ever need anybody to help you, I would love to help because being the little video girl and photograph girl is just what I want to do. Um, and so I just, I think in the last 24 hours, I've kind of, the universe has, kind of put some things in perspective for me. There's a plane going by. <laughs> Hello. Um, I'm just going to let the plane try to fly by. It's really loud. We're walking to my place that I usually go to uh, to meditate, do a little bit of exercise. So that's where we're walking right now. Um, so these last two events that have happened Oh, there is actually one other event. There's one more event that um, has really made my week. And this is um, happens to be my friend um, Alex, who I met a few weeks ago at a networking event. She's got this group called Linking Ladies. And she sent me an email, a Facebook message a couple days, it was two nights ago or three nights ago, saying that we're all having tea in Picton um, to help re to help support the, the neighborhood. And I didn't really pay attention to supporting the neighborhood. I was more thinking about the tea and the coffee. <laughs> I'll have tea and coffee whatever, wherever, you know? And, and then I, of course, I did a little bit of research on um, Picton, or I asked her, well, what's happened in Picton? Uh, Picton, I don't know what's going on. And apparently they, we had some really ba bad flooding uh, a few weeks ago at, at the end of June. And Picton apparently got smashed, and um, this is where Alex is from. And so, yeah. Um, well, I thought, well, you know what? If we're going to go help the businesses, why don't I bring my camera and um, do some interviews of some of the business owners there? Um, we can do a couple of like, small videos. You know, gives them an opportunity to promote their business and. I was thinking maybe we could do like a customer appreciation day and have them talk about why their customers are so great. And just a little clip that they can post on Facebook. I thought that was a really a good, a good way to A, help the businesses, but also to continue the conversation around video. And so I, I said that to Alex and I suggested that idea and she was all for it. So I don't know, I think that the, the Picton you know, oh, because I did, of course, I did the research on Picton, and, and they've, the, the storms have really affected the, the, the neighborhood. It, it was really bad. It was really bad. Um, and it was really bad here in Sydney. Like, it was torrential, but it wasn't as bad as what happened there. So we're going to go next Wednesday. Um, I'm going to pitch up my tripod and do some interviews with some of the businesses there. Um, but I guess the whole point of this is like the, the example with Pickton, uh, Pickton the, well, the opportunity to go to Picton and the opportunity to visit with Stacy last night and help her and the opportunity to speak to Roger today about his heart attack has just really put a lot of things in perspective um, about life and, and about my heartache and struggles that I've gone through. I mean... I didn't, I didn't talk a lot about 
my divorce that I, I went through when I first moved here in 2011. Well, we moved here in 2011, and then Miles and I split in the middle of 2012. And um, since then, I've been kind of in a little bit of a, a cave. I've been just to myself. I haven't been reaching out to my friends on social media and, and sometimes even barely my family. We did have a holiday recently and I'm back in touch now. And ever since I've come back from my holiday, I'm, I'm back and I, I feel very connected to my friends now at home. I've had people reach out from high school, Julie from high school and Alyssa and a couple of other friends um, have FPM'd me and um, Jennifer Schaefer. <laughs> Lots of old old connections that are getting re re reconnected, and um, that's really important to me because you know I've been in this cave for uh, a long time, and I'm coming out, and it feels great that I'm coming out and starting to meet new people. And but life has been hard; it's getting easier, but it's not as hard as any of these people that I've experienced in the last. 72 hours because I learned about Picton in, on Wednesday. I think I had Picton and then I had Stacy and then I have Roger and um, So to put things in perspective, I'm not doing so bad actually. I'm not doing so bad and, and I don't feel bad at all right now. I feel actually very happy and fulfilled But there is something that I'm gonna actually ask you people. So anybody watching this or Whoever watches this later. I really want your address Okay, I've made, made a commitment to myself that I'm going to start sending out birthday cards and I'm going to start sending out Christmas cards and all the things that I've neglected over the past three years, I'm starting to do this year. So I don't have anybody's address. Um, so if you can put your address either in the box below or in just PM me if you don't want to, if you don't want to make that public, just please PM me and um, so I can put you on my little list. Let me know when your birthday is because I love birthdays. I mean, I, I know your birthday anyway because Facebook tells me every year. It's been like for five years straight, I, I say happy birthday to people. Um, but I'm gonna do something a little bit more this year. Sorry, there's another plane, but guess where we're at. So this is where I do my meditation and do my stretches. I just love this place. It's just, this is beautiful. And the boats make me so relaxed. People who know me know that I like my boats. And this is just, this is just the bay there. And this is where the ferry comes. And then the bridge is all the way in the back there. I don't know if you can see it, but this is the park. It's just so beautiful, especially today. It's not raining, it's not cold. Um, here's Sydney over here. These are for all my friends in the US and in the UK that don't really know what Sydney looks like. This is Sydney. It's so pretty. And you haven't even seen the best bits. Well, that's Sydney right over there. I don't know if I can zoom in. There's the, the famous, I don't know what you call it, the, the building. And here, so this is a ferry. This is where the ferries come. It's kind of modern as well. I'll just walk here so you guys know. People in Australia, this is boring for you people, but that's where you tap in on tap off, kind of like the subway in New York. Um, and then this is where you walk. This has nothing to do with what I was talking about today, but then yeah, this is, helps me appreciate life. This beauty is just, it's just stunning. Okay, now this is where the, it starts to rock. <laughs> I'm rocking and rolling right now. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Here we go. This is kind of like the train station, but it's on water. And there we go. I know I love it too, Charlene. It's beautiful. It's stunning. And today is a winter's day, and it, it doesn't feel like winter at all. Um, it feels like spring is is definitely coming. So, anyways, I've been chatting, uh, rambling on. Just wanted to let you know that. Um, yeah, I'm feeling good and I'm, I really want to continue to stay connected. So I'm going to continue to do these weekly um, check-ins and for no other reason, just to say hi and just to hear back from you because the people that come back to me and either PM me or message me, um, that makes me feel happy. So continue to do that. I think I'm going to sit for a little while. I'm just going to digest the, the interview that I just had with Roger. Um, 
yeah, it was pretty intense. We talked for about a half hour, so I need to edit that, but I'm gonna just sit now for just a few minutes. And uh, hi, Lane. Oh, catch my breath. <laughs> um, I love you too, Elaine. I love you too. So um, I think I think that's it in terms of me. Um, yeah, yeah. I've got a few more interesting interviews coming up. I'm going to talk to Yanya about how you can increase sales by implementing a new mobile technology. That's going to be interesting. That's an interesting interview coming up. I'm also going to talk to Buppy about efficiency. He works on efficiency pro uh, projects and um, and uh, I'm going to ask him for some, I don't know, maybe three tools that we can use um, to help with our efficiency on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and then, yeah, I've got a couple more ideas. Oh, I'm, sp oh, I'm speaking to Scott Dawkins about Brexit and about what every British and Australian person needs to know about what happened in Britain and then I'm also speaking to like I said before um, top real estate agent in Mosman talking about the Sydney and why it's such a desired place to live it is desirable now you know why it's just so beautiful but okay I'm gonna do I'm done rambling um, hi Stan <laughs> how are you Stan <laughs> I, um, I posted Stan's um, video that I shared last week on LinkedIn and I kind of um, yeah, I kind of uh, gave them the before and after um, and the benefits of practicing your interview if you've never talked in front of the camera before. So, <laughs> um, yeah. And you guys, if you know anybody that um, is interesting to talk to, um, I would love to speak to them. Um, I'm going to speak to Stacy. I asked Stacy uh, if I can talk to her about resilience and what people can do in life if they ever come across a difficult situation. Um, but yeah, if you guys know anyone that is going to be interesting to talk to, Stan, it, <laughs> good sunshine. Yeah, it's a great day. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's beautiful. Um, but yeah, Stan, if you know anybody here in Citibank that um, wants to have a chat, I'd love to talk to them. Uh, and yeah, if anybody watching knows anybody in Sydney, it doesn't even need to be in Sydney because I can do transatlantic. That's what my dad calls it, transatlantic um, interviewing over Skype. Or I think I'll go to go to a webinar or something, one of those conferencing um, tools, which I already have. I just need to figure out how to make it as a conference. So, anyways, um, I think I'm gonna go now over and out, uh, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend. Remember to send me your address and your birthday, please. And um, yeah, bye for now. <laughs>